So it's my job to close and, uh, you know, have you had a great day? Have you had a great day? Yeah. We've loved it, although I have to say we're quite happy it's come to an end. <laughs> There's some very tired people I'm going to introduce you to in a minute. But the thing that's really warmed my heart is that many people have come up to us over the day and said, this is the best drug a day that I've been to. This is the best drug a day in five years, the best in 12 years. Whatever. I think what really has drawn me to the day is the warmth and the, com and the passion and the commitment to the Drucker School and the Drucker Legacy that I felt in this room. I wasn't really, I didn't really think ahead to what family style eating would look like or be, and I was grateful we did it because we couldn't have fitted everybody into the room had we done other style of eating. But when I walked into the lunch area and I saw family style eating and I saw tables of people, I thought, that's us. That's exactly us. When you come to the Drucker School, as we tell people, when you're a Drucker alum, you really do join a Drucker school family and we stay connected for a long, long time. Many people have come up to me and said, how can I be engaged? What can I do? How can I stay engaged? And some people who haven't been at the school, I've met a number of alum who haven't been near the school. I think one I saw this one in 25 years, but it's all good, he came today. And, and you know, the question is, how can you be engaged? You know, what, what, what can you do to help and what can we put you to work to do? For a start, in my opinion, an engaged alum is a good alum to have. Anyone who wants to stay connected to the school and find a way to help is a great asset and a resource for us. For me personally, when I th look at the school and, and uh, you know, I, I want to celebrate our future, you know, there is a lot of work we need to do. We're in a tough market, it's a very competitive market, and boy, do we need everybody rowing in the same direction to, to raise the boat as high as we can possibly raise it. So what can you do to help? I've got a long list, and I'm not gonna be too long. I've been told don't go for hours, it's okay, I won't. Um, but the sorts of things, you know, anything is good, anything is good. Refer prospects to us, people that you know in your organization, in your community, who might want to learn at the Drucker School. What does that look like? Be willing to meet prospective students? Can we send them to you? Are you willing to talk to a prospective student about the Drucker School and what a great place it is? On the programming side, you know, can you offer projects? Can you offer, are you willing to come and speak? Can you host students at site visits? Can you offer internships? Can you offer jobs for our students? Would you allow me to get on the phone to you and interrogate you about the needs that you have when you employ graduate students in your organization? The world is moving very quickly. One of our speakers today said that, I think it was Rudy Estrada, said that universities aren't training people for the jobs that exist. We know that the market's changing very quickly quickly, and I'm in market a lot, many of you notice. So allow me to get on the phone to you and just ask you questions about what are you looking for when you hire a graduate and allow you to advise us on what we need to be paying attention to. Alumni, tell other alumni, we had a great turnout today, we have four and a half thousand alumni. We have four and a half thousand. Not all of them are connected to the school, some of them have fallen off and we don't know how to find them. So if there are alumni in your world, make sure you tell them about today and encourage them to stay connected. In fact, while I'm on that point, tell everyone about today, right? Eh? I've got my photo booth photo, I had orange here, I'm not sure I'd go orange, but anyway. I, but um, anyway, so, so tell, you know, as I said earlier, we're great at making our small school look big and mighty. So tell everybody about today, tell everybody about us. And don't be shy, don't be shy. On a philanthropy side, you know, one of the things we need to, if you go backward to go forward, our money comes from two sources. It comes from tuition and it comes from philanthropy. My goal is to double the number of students we have here at the Drucker School by 2025 and also to, to change from being 75% tuition dependent to 50% tuition dependent. So in everything I've said, we need operating funds and we need big donations. You've got the pledge form outside, even if you know, small amounts, large amounts, it's all good. Um, we have big ambitious goals to endow fellowships to allow students to come here from all walks of life and all corners of the world. We have fellowship endowment requirements to bring faculty here. And you've also heard us talk about the Global Family Business Institute. You've heard us talk about the innovation and entrepreneurship work. You've had great presentations about that. All of this needs small amounts and big amounts to make it work. So I want to um, close by thanking our speakers. We've had some fantastic speakers. Oh my goodness, haven't we? Did you enjoy? I've just enjoyed everyone. 
And what I loved about the speakers, you know, you put together a program like this, you're never quite sure. You know, as I said to my staff, my personal style, look, if little things don't work, it doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's about the community that we're part of. It's about the passion for the brand and our deep love for the school. But I think we got really lucky with the, the mix of speakers we had that represented the Drucker legacy and the passion toward Drucker and his work, our faculty who were on stage speaking about their work, and of course some very cool things about the future and, and technology. I also I want to welcome my staff, who I think are just, they're actually waiting for a beer. I'm just going to get them, hang on a minute. Where are you? Quite a few of our staff have gone home, but the ones who are left standing, these are our staff who are left standing. We, we, truly have, we truly have an incredible staff, and the two on my left, can you two just come forward, Shaheen and Connie? These two are the two that are responsible for Drucker Day. And, and when I say these two, I also mean Shaheen's mother, who did all the table runners, the lavender and the vases, and I think your kids were involved, and at one point Shaheen said that they don't like Drucker Day right today. Um, and Connie, bless her, I mean, Connie's moving house today. Can you imagine her husband's been moving pots and, and all sorts of other things as well? Uh, Mary Jo, many of you know Mary Jo, she helps in our office and administration. I've got Maggie Tupman, my new assistant, I couldn't be happier with Maggie in my front office looking after me. Thank you. Maggie's English and make, she makes a really good cup of tea and she brings in bone china cups and um, actually knows how to make pavlova. I couldn't believe it. I was quite happy. So if you need a cup of tea and a bit of a chin wag, come on up to see Maggie. We've got lovely Deborah Talavera. Um, standing. Deborah's been... <laughs> And Deborah has just moved away from us. I'm very sad. Deborah was most recently in reception at the Drucker School and lit up reception, lit up the reception. It's a bit quiet without you because she's taken another role within CGU and we just have to let her go. But it's great to have her back here. Rachel Jimenez. And Rachel's the head of alumni relations for CGU, and actually we hire really good people, and then CGU steals them. Is anyone here? Is Patricia here? Jacob, okay, I can say that, right. I won't get told off by my, my boss. But we hire really good people, and then they steal them, and they take them to Central, and that's what happened with Rachel. She works now running alumni relations for CGU. Steve Castellinas is our, um, Steve? Steve is one of our newer additions who supports Julia Toothacre, who's right beside. So we'll <laughs> yeah. And the transformation that both have made to the Office of Career Strategy, it's now called, I believe. Yeah. We're changing the name to Career Strategy, but this is our wheelhouse to get our students ready for jobs or those who are working to get them to, to look ahead to the next stage. And that's if you, if you want to offer professional development opportunities, these are your two people. Andrew Henkes. Andrew does an amazing job managing our programs. He's been with us for a couple of years, I think, and is a really great friend of mine, a, a, an incredible um, asset to the school, helps with scheduling. I mean, actually, you've got like a weird little command central kind of job. It's the con he's the conduit between the students and their needs and the faculty and what we can teach, and you put schedules together. I always think it sounds simple, but the schedules actually drive the whole business and everything around that. Thank you. And Kristen Anderson Daly on, on my, uh, my yeah. Kristen is my new AVP development, and I couldn't be happier with that choice either. Kristen joined us on July 17, also with Brian Dennis, who had to, he actually had to go to an AACSB conference in New Orleans, we say New Orleans, but you know where he's gone, the other side of the country. He left at uh, one o'clock, but Kristen and Brian together joined on J January, uh, June 17, July 17, July 17, and it's just been a, a thrill to have such a professional senior team supporting me and what I'm trying to do. As I close, did you know that it's our 30th birthday? Did you know that? Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> Cecily's looking at me. Someone told me, but I didn't fact check, but 30 years ago on October 21st, we were named the Drucker School. Yeah, that's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So, so I think my source is reliable, so I'll trust him. And so with that, why don't we um, go outside and toast the next 30 years? There's a beer garden. I'm hanging out for a beer, I'll tell you that. Um, outside, we still have the photo booth, so don't forget to, to take your photos and, and park plaster them everywhere. And there are still tours around the game lab. And of course, if you haven't been recorded for the Oral History Project, please also do that. But above all, I want to thank you again for your support of the school, for giving us one of your days to come here with us to celebrate and uh, you celebrate the Dracker School. Thank you very much. Thank you.